You want to know what I love about guides on YouTube? Let me explain to you and show to you what I love about guides on YouTube. Oh, hey, a 10 minute guide on how to do this thing, but it's a complicated thing. What's up, guys, and welcome to the video. Now, we are going to get to the topic of today's video in a moment, but let me first tell you about my sponsor, my giveaway, my Twitter, my everything, and let me even tell you about the details of my dog's feces from last week before we get into the actual video. Now, five minutes are going to pass before we mention what the actual video is and the actual contents of what you need to do for the title you came in for is only about 15 seconds long. But hey, about Shit. At this point, I think the how toers need a how to to do their job, too. You know, I don't know why I keep going on with this place. Allow me to retell the tale of Talion here. He starts off with a life and a family. His life and his family is taken from him, the only thing he held dear. Then a blue boy comes along, gives him a second life. Time passes, and the blue boy goes away, taking away his life and the thing he maybe kind of sort of loved again. Finds a ring, puts it on, he's alive again. Fast forward just a little bit more past that. And he desperately tries to make friends with all the things around him, only for them to find the sharpest thing in reach and jam it in his back. You know, most people working a nine to five find it hard to grasp at a reason to get out of bed in the morning. How does this guy do it? Especially after giving a certain someone multiple chances only for his bloody brain to backstab him as well. I dread to think what's around the next corner. Is your next bright idea going to be to stab me in the back as well? You will get to where to go. I would have told you my heart's been broken by the living things. As the artificial intelligence of this game decided to do it as well by removing the bloody waypoint I just put down. Thank you. Okay, the, the knives are sharp and plentiful, and they're in my vertebrae already. Have I not com completed it all? I mean, I'd love to capture this, but it doesn't exist, technically. Nor that, nor this. So every segment of the map that I can do a thing on is blue. Wait, what's this? Is that where I go? That my mission, but not before I tie up the final loose end of the area. Don't don't think I didn't notice the fact that I managed to make both boys from the final room broken equally. If ever there is a time to take joy in hurting a man that had no real involvement in your life, it's probably somebody who's called Slave Lover. Although, I am actually now having a hard time understanding which way around that is. Does he love the slaves that he gets and thus takes care of them and at that point they're employees? Or does he love the concept of slavery? Because depending on which side of the coin lands face up on this point, it's going to be quite the antithesis to the other. And I'm either just going to be beating up a guy who's expected to be evil, or I'm going to punish a man that's actually the diamond in the rough, morally speaking. <laughs> but seeing as I broke his brain, I'm about as likely to get a straight answer out of him as I am Elton John. Head! Enough! Oh yeah, that's the thing he says over and over again. Great. Oh, maddest one! Given the company you've got, that's a hell of a bold statement. Bleeding! Bleeding blood! Bleeding bleeder! Bleed! Well, on the plus side, at least he doesn't just say the one word over and over and over. I can at least take that solace. He is still about as broken as a bike with no wheels, but still. I've had enough of you! <laughs> Never had dialogue over so quick. <laughs> this he lives up to his goddamn constant namesake gimmick. It's just immediate. I am again never gonna figure out which way he loved the slaves, but at least that got a tickle out of me. Ooh, a little bit of chaos adds to the fun, and it means one more corpse to play with. Oh. Well, if you were called Corpse Lover, I would have had my answer which way that meant. Hey, Crook, uh, I know you've gotten mad and all, but when you've got your enemy down to no help, doesn't matter, because he's doomed. As if it isn't bad enough, everything that's happened up to this point, the boys lost the balls to actually finish off his goddamn prey. I, <laughs> I can take no joy in his company anymore, can I? Crook? No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Crook has truly lost his bloodlust. He <laughs> let his O-logs take it, which, by the way, he has two more of than he should, Buzz. Fair enough. All right, you, get here. No, no, I didn't mean him. No, I, I, I just said not him. No, not him either. No, not that one. No, you get him in a sec. Nope, you get him in a moment, I swear. No, I see I'm holding the direction of the joist. No, that's not the direction. Every time I point northeast, it goes southwest. Oh my lord! Please there it is! Filing taxes is less arduous than remembering all the different buttons you gotta do to get to the right screen in one press on this game. Now go to the bloody garrison, will ya? Good boy. Don't sulk! You have no bloody excuse to be sulking. Clearly your heart was set on breaking mine, and even, even after all the effort, you managed to do it. 
Because now I can never fix the problem. Because the problem is you. Oh, that's fine enemies. They're subdued and held captive on our base. And wow, <laughs> some friends are popping in to say hello by quite a margin. <laughs> We've got three fearsome soldiers wasting their time chasing a sneak in the middle of nowhere. And I did this just solely for the sake of giving them some level of reacquaintance with the area. And now it seems like a pointless waste. Did go to the mission start point. Yes, you see, I did that, and that's why I marked the bloody thing. Wh where art thou? I made the mission. <laughs> I selected the mission. I started walking toward the mission, and then it left. It was right here, and now it's gone, and now I'm very, very confused. At last, you poke your head out of your crypt, but I'll put you back in for good. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, you're really terrorizing me with the skull of a goat and the shield of an ogre's ass cheek. Oh, don't worry though, he's fireproof. So, if he burns his wonderful flesh of his friends, then it's, it doesn't matter, it's, he won't singe his fingers. Brother, care to share the talk with me? I can think of some wondrous things the two of us can do with him. Oh, see, you're the chef, never mind. I don't understand why he's fireproof in that case then. Here he is! Yes, you found me. You, you say that five seconds after the fact. What, you got shot down memory loss? Revenge? He isn't dead yet. Although, to be fair, that can be arranged. There you go. I avenge you. You can follow me if you bloody like. If what I've heard is true and all logs do go to hell, I think I hear that fire calling right now. <laughs> Don't worry, though. It was your brother on the phone. He's asking you to meet up. It appears my mission has gone walkies. And I'm confused as to why. That is a cool looking dude. The Expounder. If you're able to expound on my guy's brain and give him more of a vocabulary, I'll be forever grateful to you. There he goes, glitching through his friends. I hope you're not considering surrender. That would mean I got all kitted out for no reason. Oh, yeah? Or kitted out with your Rugrats hairdo? Oh. Huh. Speaking. Speaking. Shaking in my little space boots. I'll tell you what, you guys deal with the big boy, I'll deal with the ambusher. And he's got no health already, and I'm yet to even make contact with this boy's bumhole. I, I made a promise, can't even keep it. But there's a bloody another one. Who's the other one? Here. I was talking about bumholes. Here you go. Problem solved. And not even given the joy of an exit. Oh, and I'm smacking him in the middle of him flopping down to the ground. Well, he had the combat prowess of a hacky sack. <laughs> had all the environmental awareness of a bag of cabbages. <laughs> he was about as skilled and as intelligent as a sack of dilapidated dildos. What I'm trying to say is, uh, <laughs> and a cool name. That was about it. All right, we've got clean up on R three. It's whoever the hell these guys are. I mean, I know Mr. Stupid Rugrats hairstyle over here is like giving me a little bit of a run for money, but we Mr. Fancy Hat. He's yet to introduce himself. And oh, damn, that's good. You are trapped here like me and everyone else. Well, actually, no. I could just you know hit the dashboard button. I could go play WWE 2K19 when it's done. Speaking of the Xbox, I could take off that red ring of death of mine and throw myself off the nearest cliff and be done with all you dickheads. Our only escape is glorious death. Oh, actually, he was on the same page as me. Kill now! Oh, it's... Okay, so you were called Rage Mind. You had the line of dialogue that didn't care at all, and you've got an eye that's wonky, but no one made any comment about that at all. You just had the most to-the-point pointless bullshit ever. <laughs> Well, there's the group I know at least a little bit. Jesus Christ, that stump was not a clean look. That was... Wow, uh, <laughs> dude, I think your ah. rocks are pretty resilient. He had a tree branch in his back. That entire fight. Did you just kill him without any fanfare? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> it's only fitting the cameraman couldn't keep his eye on this guy's death. He wouldn't be able to do the same either, given his affliction. What the bloody... Oh. Okay, thought you were here for me. Clearly there was some crossed wires. I'm not even part of this situation. I mean, you fell right out of my arsehole, but all right. If you don't want anything to do with your daddy, I'll just keep on walking. <laughs> Nazu White Eye. Yep, the first guy was half blind. You're completely blind. Let's not even get started on the fact that you've got your neck guard in the middle of your jaw. Nope, I'm giving no one a mouthful about that one. Yeah, level 319 against 440. <laughs> No, I've not had worse odds than one. I've also had better odds than lots, but let's not talk about that. Nice fault you got here, but I was expecting any trails hanging from the walls. No, we're more civilized here. We hang those on the inside where we eat your innards. Oh, okay. Oh, I couldn't have hit A 
any more if I actually tried right there. I couldn't have hit it any more if I tried. Right, that's my one extra chance gone. Awesome. And all my health that should have come back didn't because of the poison. Run! Bloody hell, did you see that Craig nearly had an eye out? Raid leader did it. Wait, what? What did you? Oh, are you the one doing the poison? I was giving them credit for killing themselves. I thought you were the one annoying the shit out of me. Never mind. Couldn't have been more. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and I've been downed and I'm dead. Good night, Moon. Good night. You know, this place looks better with a lot of man blood splattered about. Oh, really? Well, my personal favorite addition to the decor would be the giant crater that's right next to my grave. Oh, and if you were uh, on a diet of hearts, as I'm seeing your name there. <laughs> Given how this past week's gone, this day included, I'm pretty sure you'll starve. <laughs> like this video, subscribe for more, and watch the video linked. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, appreciate the support on the channel in this series. Doing my best to make it as interesting as possible, given what's going on with the, uh, the, the funneling of the Shadow Wars. And thank you to the patrons. Specifically, to the VIPs, I thank David Beasley, Surface Munch, The Hernies Man, Casey McClara, AJ, DJ Kitty, Colin Jones, King of Ember, and E, Magnus Hahn. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.